कीमोथेरेपी की यूजुअली बात स्टार्ट होती है तो ये कीमो मैन का जिक्र जरूर आता है ना मैं ये करा देता हूँ क्विकली आपको लेकिन भाई पूरी वीडियो आपने देखनी है क्योंकि इससे ज़्यादा है कीमोथेरेपी कीमोथेरेपी सिर्फ ये डायग्राम नहीं है आपको बहुत सारी वीडियोज़ मिलती हैं जिसमें सिर्फ ये डायग्राम एक्सप्लेन की होती है कि भाई ये डायग्राम देख लो और कीमोथेरेपी का आपका टॉपिक कवर हो गया ऐसा नहीं है मैं ये क्विकली आपको बता देता हूँ इट कवर्स ओनली वेरी वेरी फ्यू एस्पेक्ट्स बेसिकली द साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ सम ऑफ द ड्रग्स सम ऑफ द साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ सम ऑफ द ड्रग्स तो ये देख लो वीडियो का पार्ट इनिशियली और फिर एंड में मैं बता रहा हूँ कि ये वाली जो डायग्राम है ये इनफ नहीं है आपको पूरी वीडियो मेरी देखनी पड़ेगी ताकि आपको सारी कीमोथेरापेटिक ड्रग्स समझ में आए सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ मैन हु इज अंडरटेकिंग कीमोथेरापी और ये सारी ड्रग्स ले रहा है ऐसा लग रहा है और कुछ ड्रग्स के साइड इफेक्ट्स यहाँ इजीली डिपेक्टेड हैं सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एयर बना हुआ है तो एयर से यू हैव टू यू नो ये दो एयर है ना दिस इज द पर्सन तो ये सी बना हुआ है ना सो सी गोज फॉर पर्टिकुलरली सिस प्लेटिन सो सिस प्लेटिन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू विल गेट ओटोटॉक्सिसिटी इट एक और जगह सी बना हुआ है ये देखें आप यहाँ सी बना हुआ है सो दैट ऑल्सो कॉज इज नेफ्रोटॉक्सिसिटी यहाँ पे सी इन्वर्टेड और वाई बना हुआ है सो दैट इज इंडिकेटिंग साइक्लोफॉसफोमाइट विच कॉज इज ब्लैडर प्रॉब्लम यहाँ एम बना हुआ है सो एम इज फॉर मेथोट्रैक्सिट विच कॉज इज ओरल इन्फ्लेमेशन ग्लोसाइटस दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग ये लंग्स की जगह होती है ना आपकी बॉडी में सो so की जगह पे बी शेप लंग्स बनाए हुए हैं सो दैट इज फॉर ब्लियोमाइसिन and that is indicating that bleomycin causes pulmonary fibrosis beech mein heart hota hai d shape heart hai so d is for doxorubicin which causes uh, cardiopathies and then you see ye jo limbs hain is bande ke they are v shaped v shaped limbs hain v is for vin cristin vin blastin so they causes peripheral neuropathy so this is v for remembering vin blastin vin cristin and peripheral aapke upper limb aur lower limb v shape kiye hue hain to remember peripheral neuropathy so these sort of things so the uh, you know uh, this particular diagram Uh, give you a very small hint of some of the side effects of some of the drugs okay so you don't have to kind of just rely on this chemo man for the whole understanding associated with the uh, chemotherapeutic drug so we'll now talk about uh, properly the chapter from mini cat zang because at dr asif lectures mera target ye hai ki aapki strong understanding ho subject ki so let's start the chapter now pharmacology mini cat zang se chapter number 54 aaj hum discuss karenge which is about cancer chemotherapy as you can see from the name it's going to be an extremely important chapter because we'll talk about uh, some general concepts and also about some specific drugs that we use for treating cancer patients now cancer chemotherapy remains a challenging area of pharmacology because reason is ka ye hai ki cancer ka to be honest hamare paas ab tak bhi koi specific treatment hai nahi जो वर्ड हम कीमोथेरेपी यूज कर रहे होते हैं द कॉन्सेप्ट गोज लाइक दिस के दीज आर केमिकल्स व्हिच वी इंजेक्ट इनटू द पेशेंट और जब वो पेशेंट की बॉडी में एंटर होते हैं केमिकल्स सो दे गो जनरली थ्रू आउट द बॉडी एंड दे टेंड टू इनहिबिट द सेल्स व्हिच आर एक्टिवली अंडर गोइंग द सेल साइकिल ये प्रिंसिपल कीमोथेरापी का भी है और ये प्रिंसिपल रेडियोथेरापी का भी है यानी रेडियोथेरापी में भी ये होता है कि पेशेंट को आप एक्सपोज करते हैं रेडिएशन से एंड द रैपिडली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स ऑफ द बॉडी आर यूजुअली द टारगेट दे डाई अब इसके पीछे फिलोसफी uh, ये है कि जो रैपिडली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स हैं कैंसर्स आर एक्चुअली रैपिडली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स सो कीमोथेरापी भी कैंसर सेल्स को टारगेट करती है और रेडियोथेरापी भी कैंसर सेल्स को टारगेट करती है बिकॉज दीज आर रैपिडली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स लेकिन इसमें एक इशू ये फिर है कि जो रैपिडली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स हैं वो आपकी बॉडी में और भी हैं सो फॉर एग्जांपल योर बोन मैरो सो जिस तरह कीमोथेरेपी कैंसर सेल्स को किल करती है रेडियोथेरेपी कैंसर सेल्स को किल करती है इसी तरह ये बोन मैरो के सेल्स को भी किल करते हैं देर जब आप कीमो रेडियो देते हैं पेशेंट को तो आपके डब्ल्यू काउंट कम हो जाते हैं विच मीन्स मोर इन्फेक्शन रेड ब्लड सेल्स कम हो जाते हैं विच मीन्स एनीमिया प्लेटलेट्स कम हो जाते हैं विच मीन ब्लीडिंग टेंडेंसी सो ये सब कम इसलिए हो रहा है क्योंकि बोन मैरो सप्रेस हो रहा है बिल्कुल इसी तरह आपके हेयर फॉलिकल्स दीज आर रैपिडली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स सो कीमोथेरापी एज वेल एज रेडियोथेरापी गो इन हिट दी हेयर फॉलिकल्स एज वेल एंड योर हेयर स्टॉप ग्रोइंग इन देयर फॉर इन पेशेंट्स हु आर रिसीविंग कीमोथेरापी और रेडियोथेरापी फॉर कैंसर पर्पज दे गेट बॉल्ड विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज देयर हेयर फॉलिकल्स आर टारगेटेड सो पॉइंट मेरा ये है कि दैट्स अ चैलेंजिंग एरिया एक तो ये कि हमारे पास ये कीमोथेरापी हर कैंसर पे काम नहीं करती दूसरा जिन पे करती भी है तो इसका काफी जनरल इफेक्ट है 
they divide all the uh, they kill all the cells which are actively dividing usme tumor cell bhi hain to ye aisi firing hai jisme aap ye samjhe ki cancer cells ki to death hoti hai sath kai sare normal cells ki bhi death hoti hai so ab tak bhi hamare paas aise bahut kam options hain jisme hum actually agar is particular area mein cancer hai to koi drug dein jo sirf isi particular area mein jaake inhi cells ko khatam kare aisa system targeted chemotherapy ka trials mein to hai clinics mein bahut successful nahi hai so that's a challenging area on one hand use of cytotoxic cytotoxic is like cells ke liye toxic hai ye cancer ki jo drugs hain that's why they are called cytotoxic so these cytotoxic anti cancer drugs produce high rates of cure for some of the cancers which without chemotherapy result in extremely high mortality rate such as acute uh, all bachcho mein uh, it's uh, very uh, sensitive to chemotherapy which means it's a good tumor to have if somebody has to have a tumor Uh, because it responds very well to cancer chemotherapy similarly testicular carcinoma hodgkin lymphoma they are all very uh, nicely sensitive to chemotherapy which means ke you give patient these drugs and the patient respond and improves okay on the other hand some of the cancer types are barely affected by currently available drugs so un pe koi drug ka asar nahi padta so furthermore as a group cytotoxic anti cancer drugs are more toxic than any other drug class ye sunne zara jumla they are more toxic than any other drug class because inke side effects bahut zyada hain reason uska maine aapko bata diya ki jo chemotherapeutic drugs hain wo dividing cell ko target karti hain isiliye bone marrow pura suppress ho jata hai hair follicles epithelial cells therefore they are very toxic and uh, we have to carefully you know analyze ke jo drugs hum use karenge uska benefit kitna hai aur uska nuksan kitna hoga then only you decide ki ki mo deni hai ki nahi deni hai patient ko many of the available drugs are cytotoxic agents that act on all the dividing cells cancerous as well as normal so that's a very important concept to understand jo chemotherapy hai it is not going to kill only the cancer cell it kills the dividing cells okay the ultimate goal in cancer chemotherapy is to use advances in the cell biology to develop targeted therapies we agar ho jaye to this is the ideal scenario kafi researchers is pe kaam to kar rahe hain बट क्लिनिक्स में इसकी सक्सेस अभी तक बहुत ज्यादा नहीं है जो मैं आपको यहाँ कॉन्सेप्ट दे रहा था कि एक पर्टिकुलर जगह पे अगर कैंसर है आ, सिर्फ वहीं ड्रग जाए और सिर्फ उसी एरिया पर एक्ट करे सो ऐसा हो तो क्या ही बात है यार नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी नाइस टेबल बिकॉज इट वेरी क्लियरली क्लासीफाई ऑल दी अवेलेबल कैंसर थेरापोटिक मोडालिटी सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन ग्रुप ऑफ एंटी कैंसर ड्रग इज नोन एज अल काइलेटिंग एजेंट द अदर वन इज एक्चुअली प्रोटियासोम इनिबिटर दैन नंबर थ्री इज एंटाई मेटाबोलाइट्स नंबर फोर नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट्स एंटी ट्यूमर एंटीबायोटिक्स ये शायद आप हैरान हो रहे हो कि यार एंटीबायोटिक तो बैक्टीरिया वैक्टीरिया को खत्म करने के लिए यूज होती है बट देर आर एंटी ट्यूमर एंटीबायोटिक्स एज वेल देन वी हैव हॉर्मोनल टाइप ऑफ ड्रग्स एंड देन वी हैव अदर कैटेगरी विच इज कॉल्ड मिसिल नहीं है सो ये छह सात ग्रुप्स हैं जो आपको पता होने चाहिए और फिर हर एक की प्रोटोटाइप और उनकी एग्जाम्पल्स सो अल एंड देर ऑल मैं मतलब जितने भी स्टार यहाँ लगा दूँ टू डेजिग्नेट देयर इम्पॉर्टेंस वो कम है दे आर ऑल सुपर इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम में फार्मा के पेपर में अगर आपको कीमोथेरापरिक ड्रग्स पे कमांड नहीं है देन यू विल बी स्ट्रगलिंग एंड आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर अबाउट दिस बिकॉज आपको ये एग्जामिनर्स का भी फेवरेट टॉपिक है उसका रीजन भी है बिकॉज हेयर यू आर डीलिंग विद अ ड्रग विच इज गोइंग टू बी यूज फॉर अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैथोलॉजिकल एंड मेडिकल कंडीशन दैर इज द कैंसर कैंसर का इंसिडेंस बहुत ज्यादा है बहुत तेजी से बढ़ रहा है सो बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रेवलेंट हाईली इंसिडेंट डिजीज उसका ट्रीटमेंट काफी रेलिवेंट हो जाता है ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन सो दिस इज द बैकग्राउंड दैट आई हैव टू सेट ताकि इस पूरे चैप्टर का स्टेज सेट हो जाए कि ये क्लासिफिकेशन वाला टेबल लाजमी याद रखना है एंड द जनरल स्टाफ जो मैंने यहाँ आपको बताया ऑल सुपर इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द कैंसर साइकिल खनैरिक्स देखें सेल साइकिल आपको पता है कि सेल साइकिल पॉपुलेशन खनैरिक्स एंड अदर कैंसर सेल साइकिल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट डिटामिनेट ऑफ द एक्शन एंड क्लिनिकल यूज ऑफ एंटाई कैंसर ड्रग सम एंटाई कैंसर ड्रग्स एग्जर्ड देयर एक्शन सेलेक्टिवली ऑन साइकिलिंग सेल्स what does that basically mean um that basically mean ki these are cell cycle specific drugs 
and there are some so you i hope you have the concept of the cell cycle and we will uh, discuss about this in a moment ke ye jo cell cycle ke different stages hain humne kai different videos mein discuss bhi kiye hain uh, we will discuss them one more time here that there is uh, a synthetic phase gap 1 ke baad jo aata hai then gap 2 and mitotic so many of the drugs are very specific for particular cycle uh, जो पूरे सेल साइकिल का पार्ट है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू लुक एट अल्कोलाइड्स एंड एंड नाउ यू शुड नो कि अल्कोलाइड्स क्या हैं सो व्हिच पर्टिकुलर यू नो कैटेगरी दे फिट इन दिस क्लासिफिकेशन एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी विल कवर इन दिस चैप्टर इन अ मोमेंट एंड यू विल कम टू नो वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बट फॉर नाउ रिमेंबर दीज ड्रग्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू दोर सेल साइकिल स्पेसिफिक and those which are cell cycle non specific they are, they also kill tumor cells okay cell cycle specific drugs are used most effectively when cells are in the specific phase of the cycle obviously it makes sense because these are cell cycle specific and both type of drugs are most effective when a large portion of the tumor cells are proliferating so the uh, thing that you have to remember is the fact that cancer drugs work on dividing cells so the cells which are rapidly dividing such as the tumor cells these are the cells which the target of the cancer chemotherapy drugs okay so cell cycle se iski relevance aapko pata honi chahiye then there is a lock kill hypothesis cytotoxic drugs act with first order kinetics in a murine model of leukemia in this model system in which all the cells are actively progressing through the cell cycle a given dose kills a constant proportion of the cell population rather than constant number so it's a proportion so 10% 20% like that so that's a log hypothesis okay the log kill hypothesis proposed that magnitude of the tumor cell kill by anti cancer drugs is a logarithmic function for example three log kill dose of an effective drug reduces a cancer um का जो सेल पॉपुलेशन है बाय टेन टू द पावर ट्वेल्व टू टेन टू द पावर नाइन सो थ्री लॉक्स का मतलब ये है कि दिस इज द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेल्स दैट विल बी अल्टीमेटली टारगेटेड बाय अ पर्टिकुलर डोज व्हिच इज डिजाइन फॉर अ थ्री लॉक केल ओके सो दैट्स अ वेरी एडवांस कीमोथेरापेटिक डोज कैलकुलेशन बट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एन आइडिया कि दिस इज हाउ इट वर्क्स कि जो डोज आप कैलकुलेट करते हैं दैट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ लोगारिथमिक फंक्शन ओके Uh, in both the cases the dose reduced this is the number of cells by three order of magnitude and therefore this is known as a three log dose a key principle that stems from this finding and that is applicable to hematological malignancies is an inverse relationship between the tumor cell number and the curability obviously the more the tumor cell number the less the curability so treatment option uh, will be uh, chances of failure of the treatment will be high if there are more tumor cells to begin with okay so that's why it is very important to have an idea of what you are dealing with right so um that's all uh, on this heading to give you a kick start and then we have to talk about uh, some more uh, bigger concepts but before i jump on to the next headings i have to take you through this table aapko pata hai mini cadzing mein ek table start mein hamesha dete hain jisme kuch basic definitions uh, to begin with start karte hain so for example cell cycle non specific drugs ye hum baat kar chuke hain these are the anti cancer agents that act on tumor cells when they are traversing the cell cycle and when they are in the resting phase so they are not specific to cell cycle contrary to these are the drugs which are cell cycle specific so they uh, attack a particular phase and cycle of the cell cycle what is growth fraction the proportion of cells in a tumor population that are actively dividing so that is known as a growth uh, so if this is the whole tumor niche is me agar 10% cells actively divide kar rahe hain so that is what is known as the growth fraction and the growth fraction bit will be the target for chemotherapeutic drugs because jo baki sare hain us pe chemotherapeutic drugs particularly agar aap cell cycle specific drugs use kar rahe hain so they are going to target only those cells which are showing growth fraction myelosuppressant uh, a drug that suppresses the formation of mature blood cells such as erythrocyte leukocyte platelets in the bone marrow it's also known as bone marrow suppression and this is one of the uh, side effect in using many of the cancer drugs most of them are myelosuppressants oncogene it's a mutant form of normal gene so agar koi ek normal gene hai usme koi mutation ho jati hai aur us mutation ki wajah se cancer formation hona badh jati hai that is known as oncogene ki ek jo normal normal gene hai aapki body ki ab wo mutate ho gayi hai aur ab wo cancer bana sakti hai so a mutant form of a normal gene 
that is found in naturally occurring tumors, which when expressed in non-cancerous cells, uh, cause them to behave like cancer cells. There's a gene which uh, can actually transform any cell into a cancerous cell. And then in our genome, we also have these genes which are called tumor suppressor genes. These are very nice genes. So for example, we have a gene called uh, P53 or TP53. That's a gene which is present in our genome. And its work is to the tumor. Ko suppress karna. So if this is mutated, there is no suppression and tumor formation happens. So tumor suppressor genes are all good for you. Reason being that its work is to tumor ko suppress the tumor. So it's a gene that when deleted or mutated allows neoplastic growth. Okay? One example is P53. So we have been talking about okay, these drugs uh, may be uh, linked to cell cycle kinetics. You should have an idea of lock kill hypothesis. Obviously, exam mein aapko ye detail mein calculations nahi aane lagi, lekin you should have an idea what we are talking about. Then you should know what do we mean by resistance to anti-cancer drugs. The ye resistance ka jo concept hai, ye drugs mein, pharmacology mein, it's a very important uh, concept. Antibiotic ki bhi resistance hoti hai, uh, anti-cancer drugs ki bhi resistance hoti hai. So what we are talking about here is uh, particular uh, resistance to anti-cancer drugs, which means your cells are not uh, going to um, respond to the chemotherapy anymore. Um, now, there are various mechanisms involved for uh, resistance, and these include number one, increased DNA repair. Increased DNA repair and increased rate of DNA repair in tumor cells can be responsible for resistance and in particularly important for alkylating agents and uh, cisplatin. So, uh, ab two things you have to remember. That mechanism of uh, resistance uh, some particular drugs usko show karti hai. So, for example, if you are using cisplatin or any of the alkylating agents to treat cancer, you should bear in mind that uh, these drugs may you know may not be functional after a while because uh, they induce a lot of uh, dna repair in tumor cells so um, not only they induce the cell inherently also have this capability of having their increased dna repair mechanism or basically hota hai ki jab zyada, uh, dna repair mechanism start ho jata hai, so these drugs uh, are kind of uh, limited to perform their action and other mechanism is formation of trapping agents. Some tumor cells increase their production of thiol trapping agents. Now, one example of a thiol trapping agent is a glutathione, which interact with the anti-cancer drug that form reactive electrophilic species. And this mechanism of resistance is seen in alkylating uh, agents, bilimycin, cisplatin, anthracycline. So what basically happens is, they go, these are the strategies by the cancer cells. So that's a cancer cell, for example, and you are using an anti-cancer um, drug. And if you're using that anti-cancer drug, this is the cancer cell, it will try everything to get out of this killing mechanism. So, this resistance will try all the resistance. So, what is the goal of this? The goal is that it will make its DNA repair mechanism uh, smooth line. It will make trapping agents. This cell will trap these drugs. For example, binding with glutathione. So, the drugs are no more acting on the cancer cell. Then there are changes in the target enzymes. So changes in the drug sensitivity of a target enzyme, dihydrofolate reductase, just because side drugs calm kar rahi hai, and increased synthesis of enzymes are mechanisms of resistance of tumor to methotrexate. So that is another mechanism that enzyme machinery change. Ho jati hai. Then there is decreased activation of a product. Now some cells um, Hota ye ki agar ye tumor cell hai, isme ek uh, chemotherapeutic drug enter hoti hai aur wo phir kisi aur active metabolite mein convert hoti hai. To us conversion ke liye enzymes chahiye hote hain. Aur wo activation tumor cell agar smart ho jaye, to wo enzymes ko suppress karta hai aur active component mein uski conversion nahi hoti. So resistance to purine anti-metabolites and pyrimidine anti-metabolites can result uh, for, from a decrease in the activity of the tumor cell enzymes needed to convert the products into the active metabolites. So that's another smartness. So, this is the mechanism I have to resistance. Look, resistance to anti cancer drug is in favor. Mein hai. It is in the favor of tumor 
सेल्स एंड इट इज नॉट इन द फेवर ऑफ पेशेंट सो अगर रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप होती है तो पेशेंट को फायदा नहीं होगा क्योंकि अब ड्रग्स काम नहीं करेंगी लेकिन ट्यूमर को फायदा होगा क्योंकि ट्यूमर अब ग्रो करेगा सो so, इस तरह से ये कॉन्सेप्ट आपको याद रखना है कि कैंसर सेल वो कौन कौन सी हरकतें करता है जिससे ड्रग्स अब उस पर काम ना करें यानी वॉट आर दी स्टेप्स टेकन बाय कैंसर सेल टू बिकम रेजिस्टेंट टू कीमोथेरापी और वो ये सारे स्टेप्स हैं ठीक है then inactivation of anti cancer drugs some tumor cells can simply inactivate the uh, chemicals which we give as chemotherapy then there are decreased drug accumulation this form of multi drug resistance involves the increased expression of normal gene mdr1 for a cell surface glycoprotein p uh, glycoprotein for example this transport molecule is involved in accelerated efflux of many drugs so ho ye raha hai ki ye ek cell hai usme ek drug enter ho rahi hai usko utha ke wapas bahar phek raha hai bacteria bhi is tarah ka kaam karte hain bahut sari drugs ko pump out kar dete hain so this is what also happens in human cancer cells that they sometimes develop uh, special proteins which uh, throw them out of the cell okay so ye tamam are the mechanisms the strategies which are taken by the tumor cell to get rid of the actions of the chemotherapy okay so that's how you have to remember this now when we are treating the cancer patients we um, talk about strategies that we can use so for example um there are different strategies and we'll talk about them chemotherapy is used in three main clinical settings number one primary induction chemotherapy drug therapy is administered as the primary treatment of many hematological cancers and for advanced solid tumors for which no alternative treatment exists so chemotherapy sometimes is the mainly mainstay main mechanism of treatment particularly for a lot of hematological malignancies Although primary induction can be curative in a small number of patients who present with advanced metastatic disease in many cases goals of the therapy are palliation of the cancer symptoms improved quality of life and increased time to uh, tumor progression so chemotherapy jo hai wo 100% cure nahi hai so that is something that you have to uh, like bear in mind maybe in a very small percentage of tumors it may be helpful uh, big time but in many of the cancer cells it is uh, just facilitating it is just helping uh, ke kis tarah se ट्यूमर uh, सेल्स जो हैं वो उनकी ग्रोथ कम हो किस तरह से जो ट्यूमर सेल्स हैं वो बहुत ज़्यादा एग्रेसिव ना हो जाएं सो दैट इज़ दी यू नो अल्टीमेट एम ऑफ यूजिंग कीमोथेरापी एंड नैदर टेक्निक दैट वी यूज इज न्यू एडजम एंड कीमोथेरापी द यूज ऑफ कीमोथेरापी इन पेशेंट हु प्रेजेंट विद लोकलाइज कैंसर फॉर विज ऑल्टरनेट लोकल थेरापी सच एज सर्जरी एग्जिस्ट इज नोन एज न्यू एडजमेंट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ब्रेस्ट कैंसर की एग्जाम्पल है यहाँ पर ट्यूमर है सो वी समाइम्स डू मॉडिफाइड सर्जरी एंड ऑल्सो गिव अ शॉर्ट ऑफ कीमोथेरापी तो इसे हम कहते हैं न्यू एडजमेंट कीमोथेरापी ओके द गोल इज टू रिड्यूज द साइज ऑफ द ट्यूमर एंड पर्टिकुलरली दिस इज डन बिफोर सर्जरी सो पेशेंट का इतना बड़ा ट्यूमर है आप पहले न्यू एडजमेंट कीमो देते हैं ताकि ट्यूमर साइज रिग्रेस हो जाए श्रिंक हो जाए ताकि सर्जरी आसान से हो सके ज्यादा इफेक्टिवली हो सके थर्ड सेटिंग है एडजमेंट कीमोथेरापी in the treatment of many solid tumors chemotherapy serves an important adjuvant to local treatment procedures such as surgery or radiation so in dono mein basically ek difference hai the use of chemotherapy in patient who present with localized cancer for which alternative local therapy such as surgery exists is known as neo adjuvant so yahan aap usually use kar rahe hain neo adjuvant ko to reduce the size of the tumor yahan alongside the surgery aap uh, ya radiation uh, this therapy you are using as a facilitative edge okay the goal is to reduce the risk of local and systemic recurrence and to improve the disease free survival so simplest words mein agar bataun uh, although isme technicalities involved hai neo adjuvant usually surgery se pehle aap shot de rahe hote hain aur adjuvant aap surgery ke baad shot de rahe hote hain okay so um, what we are talking about is what are the different strategies for using chemotherapy one of the strategy is use them as a primary treatment then we use it as neo adjuvant to reduce the size of the tumor we also use it as an adjuvant after the surgery okay now uh, principles of combined or combination therapy chemotherapy with combination of anti cancer drugs usually increases the lock kill market so lock kill ki sara game hai three lock kill four lock kill five lock kill aur agar aap multiple drugs ko combine kar dete hain so lock kill increase ho jata hai okay so this is good for the patient combination are often cytotoxic to a heterogeneous population of cancer cells so this is a good thing to do combination of drugs drug combinations uh, using Uh, cell cycle specific and cell cycle non specific drugs may be cytotoxic to both dividing as well as the resting cancer so that's a good strategy 
Um, the following principles are important for selecting appropriate drugs to use in combination. So very important point, which drugs to use, how to combine them. So each drug should be active when used alone against a particular cancer. یعنی یہ نہ ہو کہ آپ ایک ایسے فار ایگزامپل یہ کینسر ہے اور یہ بلو مائسن کے لیے ریزسٹنٹ ہے تو اس بلو مائسن کو آپ کسی اور کے ساتھ میتھوٹریکزٹ کے ساتھ کمبائن کر کے دے رہے ہیں تو کوئی فائدہ نہیں ہوگا کیونکہ یہ انڈیویجولی اس کینسر کے لیے ایکٹیو ہے ہی نہیں سو ایچ ڈرگ وچ یو آر کمبائننگ ہیز ٹو بی ایکٹیو اگینسٹ دا پرٹیکولر کینسر دا ڈرگس شوڈ ہیو ڈفرینٹ میکنزم آف ایکشن دونوں کا سیم اگر میکنزم آف ایکشن ہوگا تو کمبینیشن کا کیا فائدہ ہے دا کراس ریزسٹنس آف دا ڈرگس شوڈ بی منیمل یعنی یہ نہ ہو کہ یہ لٹریچر میں اویلیبل ہو کہ یہ ڈرگ جب اس ڈرگ کے ساتھ دی جاتی ہے تو وہ کام نہیں کرتی ہے اور آپ کمبینیشن بنا کے دے رہے ہیں دا ڈرگس شوڈ ہیو ڈفرینٹ ٹاکسک افیکٹس رائٹ کیونکہ اگر ایک جیسے ٹاکسک افیکٹ ہوں گے تو وہ بہت انہینس ہو جائیں گے سو دیز آر آل ویری امپورٹنٹ وین یو آر ڈیزائننگ اے ڈرگ کمبینیشن فار کینسر پیشنٹس What is rescue therapy? Toxic effects of anti-cancer drugs can sometimes be alleviated by rescue strategy. Jo side effects hain uski baat ho rahi hai. Kis tarah se unko minimize ya khatam kiya ja sakta hai? For example, high dose of methotrexate may be given 36 to 48 hours and terminated before severe toxicity occur to the cells of GI tract and the bone marrow. So timing is an important thing. Leucovorin, a form of tetrahydrofolate that is accumulated more readily Uh, by normal than neoplastic cells is then administered so you are kind of giving tetrahydrofolate which is then taken up by the normal cells so in this way you are trying to uh, you know kill the tumor cell but rescue the normal cell uh, that's not 100% successful okay now mesna which is the mercaptoethane sulfonate traps the acrolein released from the cyclophosphamide which is an anti cancer drug and thus reduces the incidence of hemorrhagic cystitis so side effect kam karne ke liye mesna has been used then dexrazoxan inhibits free radical formation and afford protection against the cardiac toxicity of toxirubicin so point here hai ke what are the different strategies available to actually reduce the side effects of some of the known chemotherapeutic drugs and here are some examples okay use of mesna with cyclophosphamide use of dexrazoxan with uh, doxirubicin easy to remember d and d so um, that's an important paragraph that you must remember now let us talk about some of the drugs okay so maine aapko is chapter ke start mein ye table dikhaya tha so this particular table aur maine aapse kaha tha 6 7 categories and drugs ki so the first one of them is alkylating agents now let's start talking about uh, some of the alkylating agents the alkylating agents include nitrogen mustards or unke kuch examples yahan maujood hai aap dekh rahe hain chlorambucil cyclophosphamide and also nitros ureas and also alkyl sulfonates and there are some other drugs such as cisplatin uh, it's one of the famous chemotherapeutic drug which is ka naam aapne i'm sure suna hoga dacarbazine and procarbazine so aapko ek to broad class yaad rakhni hai is waqt the broad class that we are discussing is the alkylating agent اور پھر ان الکائلیٹنگ ایجنٹس کی فردر ایگزامپلس کیا کیا ہیں وہ سب آپ کو پتا ہونی چاہیے آبویسلی جو الکائلیٹنگ ایجنٹس ہیں دیر مسٹ بی اے ریزن وائی دے آر کال الکائلیٹنگ ایجنٹ سو دے آر دا ایجنٹس وچ آر ایکچولی الکائلیٹنگ سم تھنگ الکائل گروپ آرگینک کیمسٹری سے آپ کو پتا ہونا چاہیے اٹس اے کاربن ہائیڈرو ہائیڈرو کاربن گروپ فنکشنل چین سے ہٹ کے جو کاربن چین ہے دا الکائل ریڈیکل یا الکائل گروپ وہ ایڈ ہوتا ہے سو وٹ دے ڈو بیسیکلی از الکائلیٹنگ ایجنٹس آر سی سی این ایس کا کیا مطلب ہے سیل سائیکل نان اسپیسیفک یعنی جو میں اسٹارٹ میں ڈسکشن کر رہا تھا دیز آر دا ڈرگس وچ آر ناٹ ٹارگیٹڈ ٹوڈس اینی پرٹیکولر اسٹیج آف دا سیل سائیکل دے آر سیل سائیکل نان اسپیسیفک ڈرگس اوکے دے فارم ریئیکٹو مولیکولر اسپیشیز دیٹ الکائلیٹ دا نیوکلو فیلک گروپس آن ڈی این اے بیسز سو دیٹس واٹ دے ڈو دے الکائلیٹ دا نیوکلو فیلک گروپس ان دا ڈی این اے پرٹیکولرلی گورننگ بیس کی این سیون پوزیشن اتنی ڈیٹیلس نہ بھی یاد رہیں تو دیٹس فائن آل یو ہیو ٹو ریمبر از دیٹ دے آر الکائلیٹنگ ایجنٹس دے الکائلیٹ دی ڈی این اے موئریز اینڈ اس سے ہوتا کیا ہے اس الکائلیشن سے ہوتا یہ ہے کہ لیڈس ٹو کراس لنکنگ آف بیسز abnormal base pairing and DNA strand breakage اور ایک دفعہ اگر ڈی این اے اسٹرینڈ بریکیج ہوگا تو جو سیل ہے دا سیل ول گو ٹو ورڈ ڈیتھ پاتھ ہوئے ٹیومر سیل ریزسٹنٹ ٹو دا ڈرگس اکر تھرو انکریز ڈی این اے ریپیئر اب دیکھو ناؤ دیٹ از این امپارٹنٹ تھنگ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اگر آپ کو یہ پتا ہے کہ الکائلیٹنگ ایجنٹس وہ ڈرگس ہیں جو ڈی این اے میں ڈیمیج انڈیوز کرواتی ہیں تو یہ تو ہو گیا پیشنٹ کے پرسپیکٹو سے اب ٹیومر کے پرسپیکٹو سے سوچیں 
ट्यूमर क्या करेगा इसको ओवरकम करने के लिए कि जो डीएनए डैमेज हो रहा है इन ड्रग्स से उस डीएनए डैमेज को रिपेयर करेगा सो वन ऑफ द मैकेनिज्म दैट वी डिस्कस्ड फॉर डेवलपिंग रेजिस्टेंस वाज बेसिकली इंक्रीज डीएनए रिपेयर ये इंक्रीज डीएनए रिपेयर कौन इनकॉपरेट करेंगे ट्यूमर सेल्स ताकि जो डीएनए डैमेज अल्कालेटिंग एजेंट से हो रहा है वो डैमेज ना हो सो दिस इज हाउ दे डेवलप रेजिस्टेंस टू अल्कालेटिंग एजेंट्स ठीक है अल्कालेटिंग एजेंट क्या करते हैं दीज आर द ड्रग्स विच गो टू द ट्यूमर सेल कॉज द डीएनए डैमेज एंड देर फॉर किलिंग of the cancer cells and uh, as a you know response to this resistance develop karte hain tumor cells by incorporating more and more dna repair system so dna damage karwana kaam hai alkylating agents ka aur dna repair agar enhance kar li apni uh, capability tumor cells ne to wo resistance uh, develop kar lenge is alkylating agent ke andar jitni bhi drugs aati hain un sab ke against okay ये कॉन्सेप्ट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वन अगर ये बात समझ में नहीं आई वीडियो को दोबारा देखें बट प्लीज मास्टर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज इसके साथ आपका आगे बढ़ना आसान होगा ठीक है नाउ सम ड्रग्स दैट वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट फॉर एग्जांपल साइक्लो फॉस्फोमाइट हर कुछ एग्जांपल्स दिए इन्होंने कुछ ड्रग्स के नाम होंगे उनके क्लिनिकल यूजेज होंगे टॉक्सिसिटीज ज्यादातर आपकी लेवल वन इन्फॉर्मेशन जो आपको याद करनी है ये वो चीजें हैं जो आपको बेसिकली रट्टा लगाने वाली जो बात होती है ना वो करनी पड़ेगी तो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ साइक्लोफॉस्माइड के हवाले से जो बातें याद रखनी है हेपेरिक साइटोक्रोम पी फोर फिफ्टी मीडिएटेड इसका बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन होता है बिफोर इट कैन एक्चुअली बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन एक्टिव कंपाउंड ओके सो साइक्लोफॉस्माइड गोज टू द लिवर बाय दिस पी फोर फिफ्टी मैकेनिज्म इट इज बायो ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड to the uh, active form which performs the anti tumor activity and one of the metabolic product is acrolein important information exams ke liye kab kab hum cyclophosphamide routinely use kar rahe hote hain uh, leukemia non hodgkin lymphoma breast and ovarian cancers also neuroblastoma ye obviously bahut sare clinical trials hue hain logon ne ye drug mukhtalif cancers mein use karke dekhi hain these are the ones jiske against they work appropriately fine ऑब्वियसली कीमोथेरापेटिक ड्रग्स डू नॉट कम विदाउट साइड इफेक्ट्स सो इनके साइड इफेक्ट्स हैं जी आई डिस्ट्रेस माइलो सप्रेशन मैं आपको पहले बता चुका हूँ इस टेबल में हमने ये ट्रम स्टार्ट में समझ ली थी कि वॉट डू वी मीन बाय माइलो सप्रेशन इट मीन्स शट डाउन ऑफ द बोन मैरो तो आर बी सी डब्ल्यू बी सी प्लेटलेट्स ये सब शट डाउन हो जाते हैं सो वन ऑफ द साइड इफेक्ट फॉर अल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट साइक्लोफॉसमाइड इज माइलो सप्रेशन ऑल्सो एलोपीशिया यानी बाल उड़ जाते हैं बिकॉज हेयर फॉलिकल्स आर डिवाइडिंग सेल्स ना Uh, it also causes hemorrhagic cystitis resulting from the formation of acrolein ye jo yahan maine acrolein ko highlight kiya tha it is a cause for uh, hemorrhagic cystitis in patients who take cyclophosphamide right aur isse bachne ka bhi tarika ye hai ki excessive hydration kare patient ki ya mezna use kare jo abhi thodi der pehle hamari baat hui bhi thi cyclophosphamide may also cause cardiac dysfunction pulmonary toxicity syndrome of inappropriate uh anti diuretic hormone secretion so all these are the side effects so um mera suggestion aapko ye hai pharmacology ki drugs ko padhne ke liye ki every drug should be as a you know single play card in your head jab kabhi cyclophosphamide ka naam aaye to aapko pata hona chahiye ye liver mein handle hoti hai kin kin diseases mein use karte hain toxicity profile kya hai if you can recall this information then you can move on to the next drug which is meclorethamine इसका मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन और फाइमोकाइनेटिक्स क्या है इट इज ऑल्सो स्पॉन्टेनियसली कन्वर्टेड इनटू द बॉडी इनटू द रिएक्टिव साइटोटॉक्सिक प्रोडक्ट्स। सो मोस्ट ऑफ द ड्रग्स आर इनिशियली नॉट एक्टिव मेटाबोलाइज्ड, बट दे आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू समथिंग व्हिच इज मोर एक्टिव क्लिनिकली इट इज यूज इन हार्चकिन एंड नॉन हार्चकिन लिम्फोमाज एंड ऑब्वियसली कम्स विद साइटोटॉक्सिसिटी माइलो सप्रेशन इज अ कॉमन वन एलोपेशिया स्टेरिलिटी एज वेल ओके एंड इट हैज मार्क्ड वेजिकेंट यानी ब्लिस्टर फॉर्मिंग एक्शन सो अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लिस्टर्स आर फॉर्म्ड then we have a category so ab tak hum do alkylating agents discuss kar chuke hain one is cyclophosphamide the other one is meclorethamine now we are talking about uh, a group of drugs which are called platinum analogs kyunki inke naam mein platin aata hai platinum cisplatin carboplatin oxaliplatin these agents are used intravenously the drugs distribute to most tissues and are cleared unchanged from the kidney clinically they are used for testicular cancer bladder cancers lung and ovary and carboplatin also is similarly used as cisplatin for these tumors however oxaliplatin is particularly good for colon cancers uh, cytotoxicity uh, profile jo hai gi distress 
hematoxicity, neurotoxicity, nephrotoxicity. Obviously, there will be myelosuppression, uh, but some of them have more myelosuppression than the other. So, for example, carboplatin is less nephrotoxic than cisplatin and is likely to cause uh, tinnitus and hearing loss, but it has greater myelosuppression action so they have specific actions which you have to remember okay and oxaliplatin se hone wala neurotoxicity is dose limiting now another alkylating agent is procarbazine uh, which is a reactive agent that forms hydrogen peroxide which generates free radicals and this causes uh, dna uh, breaks or dna damage or dna damage ki wajah se phir tumor cell ki death hoti hai theek hai it is orally active so remember some of the drugs are being given orally some of the drugs are being uh, only given uh, iv and that is important information to remember okay and it penetrate uh, almost all the tissues of the body also the csf cerebral spinal fluid it is eliminated via hepatic so some of the drugs are being eliminated by kidneys some of them like the platin drugs they were being released by the kidney this particular one is uh, being released by liver or clinically it is used for hodgkin non hodgkin lymphomas also for brain tumor because the drug enters csf very easily toxicity profile may obviously myelosuppression like many others and gi upset because gi upset isliye hota hai because gi may be kafi actively replacing epithelium hai to wo jo epithelium hai wo damage hoti hai because ye drugs dividing cell ko damage karti hai aur us damage ki wajah se there is gi upset Uh, CNS dysfunction can be uh, you know noticed because these drugs हो सकता है आप Hodgkin lymphoma के लिए दे रहे हो but they enter into the CSF तो they can cause CNS dysfunction also neuropathies and skin reaction. Procarbazine inhibit many enzymes including very important ones monoamine oxidase um, and those involved also in the hepatic drug metabolism. So if somebody is taking uh, procarbazine, one has to be very much vigilant about uh, the fact कि ये hepatic metabolism है इस drug की तो वो तमाम drugs जो liver में metabolize हो रही हैं उनकी metabolism change हो सकती है okay? That sulfurim like reactions have occurred with ethanol. So ethanol for example is also one of the drugs which is metabolized by the liver. So that can also be affected if the same patient is um, ethanol consumptive patient बहुत ज़्यादा वो शराब पी रहा है जिसे आम जबान में आप कहते हैं ethanol consume कर रहा है और साथ में वो प्रोकाबजीन भी ले रहा है okay the drug is also leukemogenic so this is one of the examples where an anti cancer drug is also tumorogenic drug you know it is also causing a cancer okay there are some other alkylating agents including busulfan is sometimes used in cml it causes adrenal insufficiency pulmonary fibers so remember these things okay then carmustine and lamustein are highly lipid soluble drugs used adjuncts in management of the brain tumor the carbazine is used in hodgkin lymphoma obviously can cause alopecia myelosuppression gi distress so ye general side effects hain har drug mein aap notice kar rahe hain there are there is a list of general side effect aur wo general side effects hain gi upset usually there is myelosuppression and uh, things like that and alopecia obviously so these are general side effects and then with every drug there are specific side effects some of them are causing particularly blister formation some of them are particularly you know toxic to bladder so you have to remember generalize jo ki bahut aasan hai sab ke liye almost ek jaise hai aur phir specific bhi aapko yaad rakhne so there is a way to study pharmacology you can the next so this was one group of drugs alkylating agent you remember this table you have to ye sabse important chart hai then there are different categories and one of the category then is the anti metabolites now anti metabolites are the next drugs that we have to discuss they are structurally similar to endogenous compound and are antagonistic for folic acid such as methotrexate antagonistic to purines such as these drugs antagonistic to pyrimidine such as uh, fluorouracil cytarabine gemcitabine uh, now so kya baat ho rahi hai baat ye ho rahi hai ki these molecules these drugs and metabolites jaise alkylating agent ki definition maine aapko batayi thi ki they are the drugs which alkylate the dna these are the drugs which inhibit something important in the body so for example methotrexate is inhibiting folic acid metabolism प्यूरस के मेटाबॉलिज्म को इनिबिट करते हैं थावागानिन एंड मरकाप्टूरिन पैरामिडीन्स को इनिबिट करेंगे फ्लोरोसिल जेम्सिन साइटारापिन दीज एंटीबोलाइट्स एंटीमेटाबोलाइट्स आर सेल साइकिल स्पेसिफिक ड्रग्स यानी हर ड्रग एक पर्टिकुलर सेल साइकिल के फेज पे एक्ट करेगी इफ यू गो बैक टू दिस डाइक्राम यू सी दिस 
antimetabolites are inhibiting this particular phase the s phase of your cell cycle okay so that that's an interesting diagram by the way in addition so s phase ko inhibit karte in addition to their cytotoxic effect on neoplastic cell zara isiliye hum ye drug le rahe hain taki jo cancer cells hain wo dead ho jaye the antimetabolites also have immunosuppressive action because they are inhibiting very important things in the body folic acid purine pyrimidine so they can also cause immunosuppression the immune system goes down which is by the way also an important Uh, you know side effect of many of the anti cancer drugs to ab kuch anti metabolites ka zikr karenge methotrexate for example is an inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase this is an enzyme aur is inhibition ki wajah se what will happen ki there is decrease synthesis of thymidylate purine nucleotides and amino acids and therefore interferes with the nucleic acid and protein metabolism so if you interfere with the nucleic acid and protein metabolism tumor cells will die बेसिक मैकेनिज्म आपको पता होना चाहिए फॉलिक एसिड किस तरह से अफेक्ट हो रहा है विद दिस पर्टिकुलर एंजाइम द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पॉलीग्लूटमेट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ मेथोट्रैक्सिड अपीयर टू बी इंपॉर्टेंट साइटोटॉक्सिक एक्शन ट्यूमर सेल रेजिस्टेंस मैकेनिज्म इंक्लूड डिक्रीज ड्रग एक्यूमुलेशन चेंजेस इन ड्रग सेंसिटिविटी एक्टिविटी ऑफ डायड्रोफॉलिट रिडक्टिज एंड डिक्रीज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पॉलीग्लूटमेट सो ट्यूमर सेल विल ट्राई टू डू ऑल दीज थिंग्स एज वी डिस्कस्ड अब टू Uh, basically be blind to the methotrexate mechanism of action so resistance develop hone ka matlab ye hai ki tumor cell resistance develop karega iski oral forms bhi available hain intravenous administrations bhi possible hain methotrexate is not metabolized metabolized and it is uh, its clearance jo hai is dependent on renal function adequate hydration is required agar kidney kharab hai to ye drug dete hue aur dose adjustment karni padegi iski क्लिनिकल यूज इसके कहाँ कहाँ ये यूज हो रहा है कोरियो कार्सिनोमा नॉन हार्चकिन ल्यूकीमिया सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम की जो प्राइमरी ट्यूमर्स हैं ब्लैडर कैंसर नेक सो सॉलिड ट्यूमर्स ब्रेस्ट हैज एन नैक इवन कोलॉन में लोग यूज करते हैं और नॉन ट्यूमर कंडीशंस भी हैं सोरियासिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल रोमथ्राइडाइडस एक टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी सो दिस पर्टिकुलर ड्रग मैथोट्रैक्सिड हैज बीन क्लिनिकली वेरी वेरी बिजी ड्रग है now toxicity common adverse effects of methotrexate include bone marrow suppression toxic effects on skin gi upset yani inflammation of the gi mucosa toxic effects of methotrexate on normal cells may be reduced by administration of folinic acid taki jo normal cells hain wo rescue ho jaye aur tumor cell affect ho ye humne baat kari thi और लॉन्ग टर्म अगर आप ये ड्रग यूज करते हैं सो हेपेटोटॉक्सिसिटी एंड पल्मोनरी इन्फिल्ट्रेट एंड फाइब्रोसिस दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट साइड इफेक्ट्स नंबर कैप टू यूरिन एंड थायोगवानीन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन और रेजिस्टेंस इन पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रग्स का मरकैप्टो यूरिन एंड थायोगानीन आर प्यूरिन एंटी मेटाबोलाइट्स बोथ ड्रग्स सो दे आर गोइंग टू इनहेबिट प्यूरिन मेटाबोलिज्म बोथ दीज ड्रग्स आर एक्टिवेटेड बाय अ लंबा चौड़ा नाम है इस इंजाइम का व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एच जी पी आर टी एज हाइपोज एंथीन गावानीन फॉस्पो राइबोजिल ट्रांसफरेज इंजाइम का नाम है प्यूरिन मेटाबॉलिज्म में की रोल है इस इंजाइम का रेजिस्टेंट टर्म ट्यूमर सेल्स हैव अ डिक्रीज एक्टिविटी ऑफ एच जी पी आर टी एज नाउ दिस इज हाउ दे डेवलप द रेजिस्टेंस ऑब्वियसली द ड्रग्स आर गोइंग टू किल द ट्यूमर सेल एंड द ट्यूमर सेल विल ट्राई टू डेवलप रेजिस्टेंट टू द ड्रग दैट्स हाउ द साइकिल कंटिन्यूज ओके right um, they have uh, low oral bioavailability because of the first path metabolism in the liver the metabolism of cis mercap to uh, purine xanthine oxidase is inhibited by xanthine oxidase such as allopurinol and so remember if a patient is taking uh, for any reason allopurinol and febogzostat uh, and the patient is also being prescribed with 6 mp there will be a clash so you have to remember this drug interaction क्लिनिकली इसके यूजेज बहुत ज्यादा नहीं है सी एम एल और एक्यूटलीस और टॉक्सिसिटी इंक्लूड बोन मैरो सप्रेशन एंड लिवर डिसफंक्शन ओके दैट विल बी मैनिफेस्टेड बाय कॉलेस्टास जॉन डेज थिंग्स लाइक दैट ओके एंड नदर वेरी फेमस ड्रग विच इज फाइव फ्लोरो यूरासिल विच इज कन्वर्टेड सेल के अंदर जाने के बाद इन टू फाइव फ्लोरो टू डी ऑक्सी यूरिडीन फाइव प्राइम मोनोफास्फेट दिस इज द फुल नेम which inhibit the thymidylate synthase and leads to thymine less death so again 
द होल चक्कर जो ये तीन लाइनों में लिखा हुआ है कि ड्रग ये सेल है फाइव फ्लोरो यूरासेल पेशेंट को दी है एज ए कीमोथेरापी ये सेल के अंदर जाएगी ट्यूमर सेल के ट्यूमर सेल के अंदर जाके ये इस पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगी और देयर विल बी इनहिबिशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर इंजाइम लीडिंग टू डेथ ऑफ दिस सेल ओके इनकॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ दिस लॉन्ग लंबा छोटा कंपाउंड इन टू डी इन विच द डीएनए सिंथेसिस एंड दिस इज हाउ डेथ हैपन्स ये किस तरह से हैंडल हो रहा है इट्स वाइडली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑल्सो इन टू द सी एस एफ एलिमिनेशन इज मेनली बाय मेटाबोलाइजिंग इट टू दी अदर कंपाउंड बाय ऑल द सेल्स जिसके अंदर ये हैंडल हो रहा है क्लिनिकली इट इज यूज फॉर अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ कैंसर इंक्लूडिंग ब्लैडर ब्रेस्ट कोलॉन हेड एंड नैक एंड लिवर एंड ओवेरियन कैंसर ओके Toxicity, general profile, myelosuppression, alopecia, GI. So these are all general effects. GI distress, myelosuppression, and alopecia. Okay. Another drug that we have to discuss is uh, uh, cytarabine. सैटारबीन इज अ पैरिमिडीन एंटी मेटाब सो रिमेंबर आपको मैंने जनरल कॉन्सेप्ट दिया था एंटी मेटाबोलाइट का कि दे विल इनिबिट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन द बॉडी मैथोट्रेक्सिड इज इनिबिटिंग फॉलिक एसिड द ड्रग्स वी जस्ट डिस्कस वर इनिबिटिंग प्यूरिन नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पैरिमिडीन इनिबिशन द ड्रग इज एक्टिवेटेड टू एन एक्टिव थिंग विच इज एन इनिबिटर ऑफ द डी एन ए पॉलिम रेज एंड वॉन्स यू स्टॉप डी एन ए पॉलिम रेज सेल डेथ विल हैपन and resistant to cytarabine occur as uh, as a result of its decreased uptake so cells which cells tumor cell will devise some strategy taki ye drug cell ke andar enter now ya agar enter ho to bahar nikal di jaye this is how the tumor cells develop resistance okay next drug that we have to talk about is gemcitabine uh, this is a deoxycytidine analog that is converted into an active diphosphate and triphosphate nucleotide form uh, it appears to inhibit the ribonucleotide reductase this is to all i am trying to emphasize on is the fact that you need to know the drug what drug is active mein convert hoti hai kis enzyme ko inhibit karti hai these are all extremely important information aur jab ye enzyme inhibit hoga then dna synthesis will be affected and this will lead to you know um uh, chain termination stoppage of dna replication and cell death or elimination is by metabolism by the cells in which it is actually entering clinically used for range of cancers names written here non hodgkin lymphoma bladder lung cancers small lung cell variety particularly primarily it causes myelo suppression like many other anti cancer drugs do and also reported is the pulmonary toxicity so you see there is a lot for you to understand and also a lot for you to remember so please go through this very very carefully okay let's now talk about another category of uh, chemotherapeutic drugs which is uh, third category that we are going to discuss it is about the natural product anti cancer drugs now in this category the most important of these plant derived cell cycle specific drugs are vinca ankyloids or you vinca to v se start ho raha hai therefore you remember them very easily winblastin wincristin vinorelbine so they are all starting from v they are vinca alkylides and the porophyllotoxins including etoposide and teneposide and the, the these are difficult names i know but you have to remember them and the texanes the paclitaxel and docetaxel they are all very commonly used and therefore they are very commonly asked in the exams as well ab ye jo vinca alkyloids hain winblastin wincristin they block the formation of mitotic spindle now you imagine ki ye drugs jab tumor cell ke paas jayengi to mitosis ko block kar dengi cell division kaam nahi karega therefore they are important uh, to exert their action only on the m phase because this is the phase jahan mitotic spindles banenge so if you go back to the diagram jo initially main bar bar dikha raha hu ab ye diagram so if you look at the m phase it is the vinca alkyloids and the texanes which block these spindles in the mitotic phase therefore they are cell cycle specific drugs okay so uh, if you uh, you know watch the video carefully you will get a good grasp of the concepts और इनकी जो रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप होती है ट्यूमर सेल्स डेवलप करते हैं दैट हैपेंस बाय मेम्ब्रेन ड्रग ट्रांसपोर्टर यानी ट्यूमर सेल ऐसी ट्रांसपोर्टर बना लेते हैं कि ड्रग आती है सेल के अंदर एंड देन दे आर पुश्ड आउट ऑफ द सेल नाउ दीज ड्रग्स मस्ट बी गिवन पार एंट्रली यानी आईवी रूट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे पेनिट्रेट मोस्ट ऑफ द टिश्यूज एक्सेप्ट फॉर द सी एस एफ एंड दे आर क्लियर क्लियर मेनली बाय बिलियरी एक्सक्रीशन यानी बाइल के जरिए यानी लिवर के जरिए विन क्रिस्टीन इज यूज वेरी रूटीनली इन एक्यूट ल्यूकीमियाज एंड लिम्फोमाज विलिम्स ट्यूमर न्यूरो ब्लास्टोमा विन ब्लास्टिन इज 
technically used for lymphomas, neuroblastomas, testicular cancers, Kaposi sarcoma, which is associated with HIV infection, and vinorelbine is used for lung cancer, non-small cell category, as well as breast cancer. Uh, there is some memorization that you have to remember. Toxicity profile, GI upset, alopecia, bone marrow suppression, easy stuff. Wind crystal does not cause serious myelosuppression, important point, but is neurotoxic action. So you need to remember that what drug is doing, you have to do dosing or drug selection. Karni hogi. Another category which is in, uh, included in the uh, listing of natural product anti-cancers is the etoposide and teniposide. They are semi-synthetic derivatives of uh, porophyllotoxin. Uh, they induce DNA breakages. Obviously, they are increasing DNA breakages. So, DNA replication may garbar karenge. And the drug is most active in S phase, synthesis phase, as well as the GAP2 phase. Um, and uh, pharmacokinetic profile in ye hai ki they are very well absorbed after oral administration and distribute to most tissues of the body. Elimination is via the kidney. See, previous jo group tha, vinca alkaloids ka, that was by bile. So you need to remember which drug kaha metabolize ho rahi hai, kaha se excrete ho rahi hai. Clinically, unki usages aapko pata honi chahiye. In particular group ke uh, lymphomas, lung cancer, germ cells and stomach cancers. Toxicity profile include the same thing, GI upset, alopecia and bone marrow suppression. So there are so many generic things which are drugs ke liye jaisi hai. Then topotecan and irinotecan. The two compotecans, the topotecan and irinotecan produce DNA damage. They are also causing DNA damage. Pharmacokinetic profile, um, this is converted into the liver into the active metabolite, which is then uh, the name for this active metabolite is SN38. And this is actually responsible for inducing the DNA damage. Okay, and uh, clinically, uh, it is used not as a primary treatment but as a second line therapy for advanced ovarian cancers and uh, also for lung cancers. Okay, also for metastatic. So, this is a second line therapy for advanced diseases, myelosuppression, GI upset, they are the common toxicities reported. Other group, they are very famous drugs, paclitaxel, docetaxel. They interfere also with the mitotic spindle. So they are also disrupting mitosis, okay? Intravenous, inko diya jata. Clinically, there is a long list of tumors in may is drug ko use karte hai. And they cause myelosuppression, including neutropenia, neutrophil down, platelets down, thrombopenia, and high incidence of also neuropathy and hypersensitivity and uh, bone marrow suppression and neurotoxicity also by docetoxyl so most of the side effects are kind of same okay then there is a category called anti-tumor antibiotics that's a more recent category uh, it includes anti-neoplastic drugs which is made up of several structurally dissimilar microbial products and include the anthracycline, bleomycin, mitosin. Very important to remember them. Anthracyclines, for example, in the example, we have doxorubicin, the name Zarusuna Hoga, donorubicin, idorubicin, apirubicin, mitoxentron. They intercalate between the DNA base pairs. So, this is DNA ki beech mein apni jaga ja ke fix kar dete hain. So, DNA ka ek strand dusra hai beech mein kahi ja ke intercalate ho jate hain. And this way, they inhibit topoisomerase too and they generate free radical. Therefore, they block the synthesis of RNA and DNA and there is DNA strand scission. So, DNA tootna pootna shuru jata. That's what happens, okay? And membrane disruption occurs. These are cell cycle, non-specific drugs. Pharmacokinetically, they are metabolized in the liver and excreted both in the bile and urine. Clinically, wide usage for doxorubicin, Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin lymphoma, myeloma, sarcoma, breast, lung. So I'm just reading the names. You can read it yourself. Okay, but sometimes reading ko sun ke hi cheez kafi asan ho jati hai. The main use of denrubicin is treatment of leukemia, so you can read it yourself. Toxicity profile: bone marrow suppression, GI upset, alopecia, severe alopecia. The most distinctive adverse toxicity is the cardiotoxicity, which includes initial electrocardiographic abnormalities. Dexorazoxane, which is an inhibitor of iron-mediated free radical generation, may also protect against the dose-dependent form of cardio. So that can be a rescue mechanism. Bleomycin, 
um, again we are talking about the general class anti tumor antibiotics just me pehla humne group discuss kiya hai anthracyclines ka and now we are talking about bleomycin it's a mixture of glycopeptide that generate free radical which binds to dna and its dna strand breakages and their cell cycle is specific particularly working at g2 phase okay so all this information is extremely important so ye wali jo diagram maine aapko start mein dikhai thi na bhai ye aapko yaad honi chahiye ki kaun si drug किस फेज पे बिलियोमाइसिन जी टू फेज ओके यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस अदरवाइज यूल बी स्ट्रगलिंग बाय द वे राइट सो इनकी फार्मा बिलियोमाइसिन की फार्मा काइनेटिक प्रोफाइल रीनल क्लियरेंस आल्सो हैपेंस इट इज इनएक्टिवेटेड बाय मेटाबॉलिज्म विद इन द टिश्यूज वेयर इट पेनिट्रेट्स It is used commonly for uh, Hodgkin lymphoma, testis tumors, and uh, a lot of squamous cell carcinomas. It's my skin, be a oral cavity, be a. The toxicity profile include uh, pulmonary dysfunction, particularly fibrosis. ठीक है? Uh, hypersensitivity reactions, alopecia, GI upset, myelosuppression. They will all be there. Mitomycin is a cell cycle non-specific drug, and uh, it is given intravenously. and it acts against the hypoxic tumor cell and is used in combination uh, for i mean obviously with other chemotherapeutic drugs for adenocarcinomas cervix and stomach pancreas so you just need to remember them severe myelosuppression and problems to heart liver lung and kidneys some other drugs labeled as miscellaneous and the class first one that we have to discuss is tyrosine kinase inhibitor obviously as the name indicated is going to inhibit the tyrosine kinase activity uh, the first drug in that group is imatinib it is an example of a selective anti cancer drug whose development was guided by knowledge of a specific oncogene it inhibits the tyrosine kinase activity of the protein product bcr abl oncogene which is i mean the characteristic one in cml associated with philadelphia chromosome in addition to its activity in cml imatinib is effective for treatment of gi tumors as well right so all you have to remember is that imatinib bcr abl cml important tyrosine kinase inhibition okay toxicity of imatinib include diarrhea myalgia fluid retention you have to remember that unfortunately there are some others which are new in the market jaise hota na iphone ke wo aate rehte hain 14 aaya 14 pro max ab 15 pro max aise ye imatinib ka pro max version ab aa rahe hain theek hai bozitinib nilotinib dazatinib etc maybe few more in the market now growth factor inhibitors including so ye ab aap miscellaneous mein ek category aapne imatinib yaad kar li then the other one so that was one category the other one is now transduzumab it's a antibody monoclonal antibody it recognizes a surface protein in the breast cancer which express her2 so herceptin is another name for this one acute toxicity of this particular drug can cause a lot of symptoms including vomiting chills fever and this, but this is very important drug so for example if this is a, a breast cancer cell and it is expressing this protein her2 you give this drug and the drug goes and kills and blocks this particular protein and the cell dies so the drug only works if the breast cancer cell is expressing her2 therefore it is an example of a personalized medicine type of thing okay several so very important trastuzumab okay now several other drug inhibit an egfr ko bhi block karne ke liye drugs maujood hain and uh, there are so many example that the egfr regulates signaling pathway we know that in cancer egfr is involved in intracellular signaling it is also implicated by in inhibiting the cytotoxic activity of some anti cancer drugs cetuximab is also a monoclonal antibody which is directed towards the egfr so it goes and block egfr theek hai phir apne pentumumab pata hona chahiye it is also a monoclonal antibody it is also directed against egfr then uh gefitinib and erlotinib they are uh, small molecules they are also antibodies by the way uh they also inhibit egfr so you see that we have against her to particularly trastuzumab and then uh, different egfr antibodies including cetuximab penetumumab and what not then bivac cizumab or bivacizumab whatever you call it is a, also an antibody which acts against vegf और वेजेफ को अगर आप ब्लॉक करेंगे तो आप ब्लड वेसल्स को यानी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू ब्लड वेसल्स को रोक रहे हैं एंड दैट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फिनोमिना बाय द वे क्योंकि ट्यूमर जो सेल्स हैं द ट्यूमर सेल्स दे नॉट ओनली ग्रो इन नंबर दे आल्सो हैव अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स फॉर्म्ड एज 
पार्ट ऑफ ट्यूमोरोजेनिक प्रोसेस तो ये ब्लड वेसल्स का पर्पज होता है सप्लाई को लेके आना फूड पार्टिकल्स न्यूट्रिशन सो इसको रोकना भी इंपॉर्टेंट है तो इसको अगर रोकना है तो वेजेफ को ब्लॉक करना होगा क्योंकि ब्लड वेसल्स बनती हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फैक्टर विच इज नोन एज वेज एफ सो इफ यू ब्लॉक वेज एफ यू ब्लॉक एनजियोजेनिस एंड दैट इज द ड्रग ओके देन दे आर यूज इन अलॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट कैंसर नेम्स रिट इन हेयर एडवर्स इफेक्ट ये आपको याद करने होंगे नाउ जेफ एफ ली द रिसेप्ट also interferes with wegap so newer drug okay then sorafenib sunitinib ye jitne bhi ab ab wale hain these are all the antibodies okay they are small molecule antibodies they block something so they block tyrosine kinase inhibitors okay rituximab iska zikr apne nahi kiya abhi nahi cetuximab ka zikr kiya now we are talking about rituximab as also mab monoclonal antibody uh, mab monoclonal antibody so this word m a b means monoclonal antibody just drug ke end mein mab 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 aayega it's a monoclonal antibody and usually just mein ib 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 aata hai these are small molecules okay so rituximab binds to a surface protein uh, in non hodgkin lymphoma and induces complement mediated lysis so it activates kind of complement system and lysis of tumor cells then interferons i mean uh, well they causes a lot of side effects you know body pain and what not so anyways they used to be used as antineoplastic immunosuppression may viral infection may but ab iska use actually discourage kiya ja raha hai kafi then there is another category of drug which is so we are discussing miscellaneous drugs okay these are the drugs which are, uh, are all under the heading of miscellaneous drugs asparaginase it's an enzyme that depletes serum asparagine it is used in the treatment of t cell oxotrophic cancer such as leukemias and lymphomas and then there are um, proteasome inhibitors which uh, are inhibitors of chymotrypsin like activity of 26x proteasome in the mammalian cell so if 26s proteasome uh, is inhibited what happens is basically is a large protein complex that degrades ubiquinated proteins such as cyclin dependent kinases inhibition of this system would lead to down regulation of nuclear factor kappa b signaling and if you block this signaling that may help stop tumor progression so uh, i know this is kind of a tough chapter but you have to spend some time over it to remember these things okay now i think the last bit that i have to discuss now is some hormonal anti cancer so these are usually hormones but they are used as anti cancer agent so prednisone is the most commonly used glucocorticoid in cancer chemotherapy because of its very wide effects okay so this is a glucocorticoid glucocorticoid is one compound in the body which is used in so many different metabolic pathways so ye hum fir kisi waqt discuss karenge particularly but remember it is is used glucocorticoids are used in cancer treatment then a few others that you have to remember tamoxifen for example it's a selective estrogen receptor modulator and it blocks the binding of estrogen to the receptor so estrogen body mein nikal raha hai wo apne receptor pe binding karega uh, this is what the job of tamoxifen is the drug is used in receptor positive carcinomas so if there is a breast cancer or some estrogen receptor hai er positive breast cancer so you give tamoxifen taki ye receptor block ho cancer cell ki death ho okay other adverse effects so there are so many adverse effects like other chemotherapeutic drugs it causes for example endometrial hyperplasia as well as endometrial cancer and the uh, you know low profile side effects include nausea vomiting hot flushes vaginal bleeding and thrombosis Now another drug which is known as tamoxifen is a newer estrogen receptor antagonist then flutamide is an androgen receptor antagonist all important this one will be used for prostatic cancer okay then there are some um, gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs which are also used for tumors such as luprolide gozarelin nephrelin GnRH antagonist so GnRH antagonist means gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs not antagonist sorry agonist okay so uh, pardon me for this these are analogs agonist they are effective in prostatic cancers and when administered in constant dosages to maintain stable blood levels they inhibit the release of pituitary LH and FSH which is what you require in prostatic cancer luprolide may cause bone pain gynecomasia these are the side effects Another category is the aromatase inhibitor, anestrozole and letrozole. They inhibit aromatase. The enzyme that 
uh, is responsible for catalyzation of um, you know androstein dione to estron and both these drugs are used in advanced breast cancers and toxicity include uh, a long list okay so what i'm trying to convey is the fact that uh, um, I know pharmacology is never easy. It's a boring subject, but I'm trying to make things easy for you in the context of telling you what are the general things that you have to remember? What are the specific things that you have to remember? Okay, so all the very best and uh,